mm. video on the tools of centering, or more broadly, the sort of tools of any embodied work. Um, sometimes we call these fundamentals, we have different ways of, of talking about them, gateways even sometimes, but they're, they're the nuts and bolts of what you work with in embodiment. So um, awareness itself is a tool, right? Like you can change your awareness, you can build your awareness, you can move your awareness, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Yeah? So awareness itself is, is the only sort of essential tool, because if you're not working with awareness, you're not really doing embodied work. Well, you're not. So that's the only one of these um, uh, tools that's essential. When I say tools, actually, as well, they're, they're more fundamental than techniques. So like ABC is a technique, but it's built on these tools. Yeah, or I, our, our eyes, or um, I don't know, any whole system, five rhythms, or um, Aikido centering, whatever. They're built on these fundamentals. And it's worth breaking it down and sort of, A, checking in, like, do I know these? Am I trained in these? Am I missing a trick here? Yeah. We do break this down in different ways. Sometimes you'll say eight, nine, ten, but it's about eight or nine. Uh, awareness, intention, intentionality, you know, that's a tool. It means different things to different people. There is a sort of, in the Paul Linden sense, uh, look up his work on this, is very good. It's like intentional reaching. Uh, that could be a tool for centering, right? Like I could be aware of my body, but I can also reach out in all directions. Bit different, huh? Okay. Relaxation, classic tool, uh, relaxing tension in the body more profound than most people think. You know, I've heard like deep spiritual teachers talk about relaxation as a, as a serious thing. It's not just like, oh, my back's tense or something. There's way more to it than that. So relaxation. Movement, of course, there's a whole study. In some ways you could say everything we're studying here is movement, um, but movement itself, you know, certain systems like fire rhythms or Laban analysis really look at movement and break down movement styles, yeah? Okay, others look at posture, which is another tool. So a centering tool, we tend to think of centering as still, but we can move to centre. Like hip swinging exercises you'll sometimes see me teach, a bit difficult in a chair. Those kind of movements are centering as movements. Yeah, by orientating to the physical centre of movement. The Aikido rowing exercise is another one. Uh, as opposed to posture, which is more about stillness, right? And again, you know, it depends on how sophisticated your postural understanding is. <laughs> it's not... Stacking blocks is all I'll say as a basic thing, yeah? Look at the tensegrity stuff and the fascial stuff. Um, but posture's a whole system, right? People study that their whole lives, like Alexander Technique people. So there's lots we can learn about posture. And if you're just moving, you might not learn about that and vice versa, okay? So posture, um, you know, sp sometimes I, I say breathing is a tool because even though it is mostly movement, relaxation, it's sort of its own thing because it's so, it's so fundamental to almost every system. Not every, but almost every embodied system will work with breathing. And of course, breath work is a whole thing. I'd say you're missing a trick if you're not learning a few breath work techniques, even if it's just things like, ah, the sigh or yawning even, gurning, or um, the wake up breaths that we do, or elongating the out breaths. There's some very simple breath techniques that you can work with. Uh, visualization. I think is, is underused and I think can be very helpful for most people but completely useless for a few or for some. So just bear that in mind, not everyone's much of a visualizer, yeah? Um, but can be incredibly helpful adjunct. I often offer a visualization. Sounding, there's one I'm just getting into from Continuum and a few other systems. Oh, ooh, ah, noises make you feel differently, okay? If you say A as opposed to E, you can't help but move the body and change the tension levels, but that, that's pretty profound. So, um, yeah, sounding could be another one. We could also think of, like, relationality as a tool in and of itself, the idea of um, connecting, relating, and body relating. That, you know, like, we have social centering, which uses connection, social connection, as a tool in itself, right? Though, of course, it involves the other tools. So... You know, for me, you can break it down different ways, but it's key to understand that there are these different ways of working. Um, also, this is where the rubber meets the road. So your instructions for centering or anything else should involve these things, okay? So it should involve things like put your feet here, feel your feet, okay? Imagine your feet are. So the instructions involve the tools. If people don't understand that, they they make the instructions too broad or too metaphorical. Like, be like a tree. What, what does that mean? Does it mean feel my feet on the ground? Does it mean intend downwards like tree roots? Does it mean visualize tree roots? Does it mean change my posture to a wider stance? You know, what does it mean? 
right? You have to break that down, particularly if you're working with beginners or more mainstream groups. If they're not understanding your instructions, you probably haven't got down to this level of the different tools. So that's more or less it. Sometimes we'll talk about, you know, you can imagine mantra as a tool. You can, we often talk about acceptance as a tool in and of itself, actually, though normally we're using words or imagery or body to, to do that. But it's worth thinking of as a tool, actually, in some ways. Um, so yeah, I think they're the main ones. If you can think of others, great, let us know. Um, these are the mostly what different techniques come down to. Uh, are changes to these things. So I'm, I'm sure there's a few more, but they're the main ones. And if you look at embodied systems, you could also ask which are they working with? I find it hard to think of an embodied system that works with all of them, and definitely not all of them equally, right? So for example, I didn't work much with visualization, then I came across one fairly obscure system that used it heavily. Or I didn't work much with sounding until I saw Dylan Newcomb do it, and then I saw it in, in um, Continuum, right? my own background in Aikido, I was very well trained in sort of looking at posture and we looked a little bit with different types of movement, definitely worked with breath and awareness and only certain schools will study intentionality, for example, so, some won't. So um, yeah, there's a bit of a breakdown as to what we're actually working with in centering or any embodied practice. Mm -hmm.